Hello everyone, we have a new laptop to review here. It's Redmi Book Pro from Xiaomi and it has RTX 2050 graphics. Let's review. Before starting the video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and ring the bell icon under the like button. This laptop here has a high quality aluminum body I like the quality here and Xiaomi did a good job about its design um, it's mostly like Macbook from Apple uh, but it's okay um, at least it's a good design it's minimalistic and I prefer this design to other gaming laptops or uh, powerful laptops from other brands this is clean and this looks good the keyboard quality is good not perfect but it's good and i can type on it easily for hours and uh, the trackpad is good too but a little too wacky uh, on top of the keyboard on the right side we have a fingerprint scanner this laptop have a 720p webcam its quality is good not bad but the microphone quality could be better my problem with this laptop is its uh, speakers. Its uh, speakers are absolute garbage. The only thing I really hate more from its uh, speakers is audio quality from its headphone jack. It's like you are uh, listening to some 3GP videos from YouTube and you are playing a 4K video on YouTube. I can't, I, I can't use my JBL headphones, JBL gaming headphones on this laptop to hear anything good. There is no bass, there is no quality, it's absolute garbage. Worse, worse than absolute garbage. But the port selection is good. Uh, there is one Thunderbolt here, which you can charge this laptop with. And there is one HDMI 2, and there is audio jack, which is really garbage. On the right side, there is USB type A, USB 3, 5 gigabit per second, and one type C, 10 gigabit per second and one other SD card port which is good it's really nice because it has almost 30 megabit, megabyte per second speed which I really love and I hate to say it but why? why some brands like Asus use micro SD instead of SD cards? dude come on please use full size SD cards but the display quality is decent I love the display quality here, it's good, it's almost 90% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage and you can easily edit your videos or photos on this laptop. If you are a content creator, this display is really good and it can uh, please your eyes. Xiaomi named its display Retina Display and I think it's a little cheap because Apple named its display liquid retina display and xiaomi named its display on this laptop liquid retina display 2 i don't know there is something wrong the design is similar to apple's macbook display called retina display and i really think this laptop is a cheap version of apple macbook performance is good but not that much it's not for heavy tasks. You can really work easily for non-heavy tasks, but heavy tasks will melt this laptop and will burn your fingers when you touch its body. I don't know. This model right here have i7, Intel i7 12th gen, 12650H, and RTX 2050 with 4 gigabytes of VRAM and also there is 16 gigabytes of ddr5 memory with 5200 megahertz clock speed and it's lpddr5 performance is not great as i said it's only for non-heavy tasks like uh, opening uh, some uh, office documents doing uh, university works going to a school and something like this if you want to game on this laptop you will melt your laptop and burn your fingers as i said uh, I played Apex, Valorant and Halo Infinite on this machine and I really, I, I'm serious, I'm serious. I burned my fingers with its um, body under this, key, this keyboard. I don't know what to say about this laptop. 
I think if you play Valorant or some other games on this laptop, you can easily yeah, make your breakfast or lunch on this laptop. <laughs> You can make a, make a nice omelet under this part, part But be careful because there is holes for air flow and you may break your device with some eggs I tested one of my footages from uh, my Persian channels on this laptop As I usually test that footage, uh, it could uh, render that footage in 3 minutes, almost 3 minutes And it was garbage it has a 10 core CPU with 16 threads and this result is absolute garbage. Why? Because I could get uh, almost uh, double the performance on my Premiere on my laptop with 5900HX CPU which has 8 cores and 16 threads and has laptops similar to its design and its price. I don't know, I don't know if I can recommend anyone to buy this laptop, but this design is minimal, uh, this is a MacBook clone laptop and I don't know, I don't know I can recommend this laptop. There is also an AMD version with 6800H and also RTX 2050, it may be a little cooler, not that hot, not this hot. But it's a MacBook clone. I hate MacBook clones. It has nice SD card slot, it has Thunderbolts, it has USB C charging, but the performance is not good. Laptop is almost every time hot, and I can recommend this laptop for you. We will review some other RTX 2050 laptops in the future. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because RTX 2050 is the true replacement for GTX 6050 and uh, we will see new laptops and some other laptops, especially gaming ones with this GPU. We should try that and talk about it later on the next videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm-hmm.